because frankly, knots and tangles just don't stand a chance against this. There was an outer box and then inside it, there was a cream colored cylinder box. The two Ayurvedic powders that I will never again use are Burdock Root Buttercream from Kemet Biologics, a moisturizer. It makes hair stretchy and soft without making it feel damp. And it's a very lightweight moisturizer. Kemet Biologics Moringa Tree Conditioning Ghee, a fantastic detangler. Curls and Potions Cleansing Foam Conditioner, a nifty two-in-one shampoo and conditioner combined. Curls and Potions Blend Scalp Potion. It's intended, amongst other things, to boost hair growth and it contains ingredients like sodium hyaluronate. Hyaluronate. That is the salt form of hyaluronic acid. And as you might know, hyaluronic acid is used in a vast number of injectable fillers, as well as in other topical beauty products, products that you put directly onto your skin. Presenting Monpure Follicle Boost Hair Density Serum. It actually came in really pretty packaging. There was an outer box and then inside it, there was a cream colored cylinder box. Really lovely looking and it felt very pampering. Burdock Root Buttercream from Kemet Biologics has a beautiful smell and it's one of the two moisturizers from Kemet Biologics. The other one is Armla and Olive Heavy Cream, which also has a gorgeous, gorgeous smell. Now, as its name suggests, Armla and Olive Heavy Cream is heavier than Burdock Root Buttercream. It's very gloopy, very viscous, but that has never been a problem for my own hair. I actually use both um, moisturizers, the Armla and Olive Heavy Cream and the Burdock Root Buttercream. I just alternate them. And I use other moisturizers as well, so that, you know, I get a lot of variety. Armla and Olive Heavy Cream and Burdock Root Buttercream cream are also great face moisturizers, great body moisturizers and great hand moisturizers. They are just so softening and moisturizing. They are actually my personal favorite hand moisturizers. Kemet Biologics Moringa Tree Conditioning Ghee acts as a leave-in conditioner, a deep conditioner, a hair straightening cream and a detangler. I use it mainly as a detangler. Usually my hair is in very small plaits and I keep those in for about two months and while I've got the plaits in I wash them as regularly as I want to and I moisturize them as regularly as I want to. At the end of the two month period that I've had them in plaits they are usually very knotty and tangly. I rub Moringa Tree Conditioning Ghee um, all over the plait first and then there's usually very little resistance when I poke the pintail comb into the bottom of the plait and start undoing the plait. Then once I've undone the plait before I try to comb it or stretch it I'll put some more Moringa Tree Conditioning Ghee on it and then I start combing it you know gently carefully and there's just very little knotting very little tangling going on because frankly knots and tangles just don't stand a chance against this. <laughs> I have used another two products from the Kemet Biologics range, the Castor and Moringa Softening Serum and the Cocoa Tree De Detangling Ghee. They're not for me, but thousands of other ladies love those products. Curls and Potions Cleansing Foam Conditioner. It's got a beautiful, 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 beautiful smell and it does leave hair fairly detangled. A shampoo and a conditioner combined, especially one as effective as that, are just such great time savers, as I'm sure you'll know. <laughs> Curls and Potions Blend Scalp Potion is a serum. It's very watery, as you can see, and you dispense it with the dropper like so. So you should be seeing the consistency. It's very watery and you've seen the color as well. It is intended to relieve scalp itchiness and scalp dryness, which I actually don't suffer from. It's also intended, as I mentioned earlier, to make hair grow. Now, as you can see, there's still a lot in it, which means I haven't used very much of it, haven't been using it very long. Therefore, I am not in a position at this point to say whether or not it makes my hair grow. I actually don't think it will, and I'm about to expand on that point in the next minute. It was obvious to me that having grown my hair really well in the first two years, the weaves were now stopping my hair growing. But I continued to have weaves because it is just such a convenient hairstyle. And it was only in July 2016 that I swapped weaves for wigs, but my hair still didn't grow. What I've since learned 
is that we have cane rows under our weave, that's how we attach our weave in many cases. The cane rows pull on the scalp. The pulling on the scalp causes tension on the scalp. The tension causes inflammation and the inflammation causes collagen rigidification, which is scarring. I've used a range of other products from Curls and Potions, including the Curls and Potions Growth and Restore Shampoo, beautiful smelling, pampering, luxurious. The Curls and Potions Supreme Curl Detox, that contains three types of clay, including bentonite clay, as well as other um, really nourishing and healthy and very natural ingredients which serve in particular to cleanse the hair. It's something you use on your hair every four to six weeks and it's a very, very refreshing treatment for your hair. Curls and Potions Butter Me Up Buttercream. Now, as it's a butter, it's actually quite stiff, but it's still a lot of fun to use. It's still beautiful smelling, softens and stretches your hair. Curls and Potions Angel's Growth Serum, which is oil. It's a, it's a mix of oils. And Curls and Potions Chebe Growth Rice Water. Now, I believe I have some sort of scalp problem that makes it um, really hard for my hair to grow. And in fact, from 2012 to 2021, my hair didn't grow at all, no matter what I did to it no matter what I put on it from Neogenesis hair thickening serum to regrows. So as far as I'm concerned the fact that a given hair growth product doesn't work on me is no indication whatsoever of its true effectiveness. So Curls and Potions Angels Growth Serum and Curls and Potions Chebe Growth Rice Water I believe make many other people's hair grow if not my own Curls and Potions Deep Repair Mask, a lovely deep conditioning mix. You use it once a week, it just makes your hair feel gorgeous and it makes your hair smell gorgeous because it smells gorgeous. Previously, I was making my own deep conditioning mix with you know, a range of ingredients, oils, eggs, honey. That's a lot of fun to do, but it's quite time consuming and it's obviously just a lot more convenient to buy a deep conditioning mix ready-made. And when it's as gorgeous and as pampering to use as Curls and Potions Deep Re Repair Mask, it's a lovely thing to do anyway. Now, the two Ayurvedic powders that I will never again use in any homemade hair mix that I might come up with are licorice, because it's very drying to the hair and neem because it's so slimy. But those two um, Ayurvedic powders are still very, very good for hair as I understand it. And you can just get them in the form of an oil or a serum or in um, ready-made um, hair care products like creams, like shampoos, like conditioners. About a month ago, I finished a three month course of Mon Pure Follicle Boost Hair Density Serum. Here are the, the ingredients for your reference. There you go, in focus. <laughs> and this is the serum. As you can see, it's quite watery, but that's fine. I think a lot of serums are. It comes with a product guidebook, as you can see, and that covers the, the entire Monpure range. And there you have Monpure Follicle Boost Hair Density Serum at 83 pounds per 50 milliliter bottle. One of its chief aims is to boost hair growth. Now, as I say, just because it doesn't work for me, someone who very possibly has a degree of scalp fibrosis, which means their scalp is just too hard to let the hair through, that doesn't necessarily mean by any means that it won't work for you. If you've enjoyed this video, then I recommend you to watch this one next. I'll meet you there.